This is Microsoft Excel 2016, Module 8, Part 1. In this particular module, we will be looking at several advanced functions and how to utilize those in Excel. So the first one is a review. We're going to be looking at the standard if statement. So if you think back, the if statement has three parameters to it. The logical test, that is the decision. And that decision will determine what the answer will be. You're going to ask Excel a logical question. For example, is the birthday month equal to the specified month that we're looking at? If the answer to that is yes, it is true, the birthday month is equal to the specified month, then in the cell, I want you to type the true value or the value if true which in this example is going to equal yes. Because yes is text, it must be enclosed in quotes. Now, if the birthday month is not equal to the specified month, then we need to leave this cell blank. It's important to remember that for Excel, two quotes with nothing in between them will set a cell to blank. If you put a space in between the two quotes, it will put a space in the cell. It will appear the same as if it is blank but it is not the same. It is storing a space. And so it will be marked wrong on both an exam or a SAM project. Make sure that a space is two quotes with nothing in between them. So if we look at it as a diagram, you can see that the decision or the logical test is going to be displayed in our diamond shape and we're asking the question is the birthday month equal to the specify month if it is yes is the answer to that then we're going to go down and do the option in the true box which is putting the word yes in the cell and to do that, you're going to put yes inside quotes. If the answer to our decision is no, it is not equal, then we're going to go down and put in the value that is in the false box. And this is going to be a blank cell. And again, to make the cell blank, you're going to put two quotes with nothing in between. So let's take a look at how that's going to work. I am using the workbook mbhc.xlsx and it is in your Excel 8 files that you downloaded from the Q Drive. You'll find it under the modules. I want you to open that file and get to the employee data worksheet. We're going to be doing some work here calculating information about our employees. So in K1, we're going to start a new column. Now one thing I would like to point out that this is set up as a table. Notice when I click in the data, I get a table design tab, which means this is an Excel table. 
and you will want to remember that an Excel table will automatically increase in size as long as you do not leave a blank space. So if we create a new column here in K and we call this birthday month, it will format it the same and it will add it to our table. The other thing that happens with a table is when I enter a formula on the first row of the table, it will copy it automatically down to the rest of the table. So I need to be careful looking at absolute versus relative referencing in these formulas. All right, so we're going to start out by comparing the employee's birthday month. And you can see that the employee's birth date is stored in F, and in this example for this row, F2. What we're trying to compare that to is over on the data table, worksheet, you have in column E, row 16, the birthday this month. So our assumption is that this is the fourth month. That that information is entered in this cell. So that's what we're trying to complete, compare it to. All right, so let's get busy working on our if statement. I'm going to click on K2, where I'm going to be putting this formula. And you do have to remember each cell reference you want to analyze, whether this has to be absolute or relative. So we're going to start out by going to our formulas tab and choosing logical and if. Now, within this top box, we are going to put in another function. I don't want to look at the whole date. I just want to look at the month. So I'm going to use the function that says month and open the parentheses. Whenever you click on a cell working in a table, you want to make sure you click in the same row as the formula. So I'm clicking on F2. Now notice, it put in this ampersand sign. That is called a structured reference. The ampersand followed by the field name of birth date. As long as you click in the cells, they will use these structured references. So if you try to type the cells, if you are asked to use structured references and you type F2 instead of clicking, you will be marked wrong. So make sure that if you are asked for structured references, you click on the cells to get that structured reference. We're going to close the parenthesis. We have to close the parenthesis. Oops, I think I hit it twice. Nope, I didn't. <sighs> We have to close the parenthesis because we opened it in this box. So if you open a parenthesis in a box, then you have to close it. 
And now we want to say what that has to be equal to. So we're going to type the equal sign. Come over here to our data tables and click on E16. Now this has to be absolute because I do not want that cell reference to shift down a row each time the formula copies down to the next rows. And we're going to go ahead and tab to the value if true. If the birthday month is equal to the value in E16, which right now was 4, and you can see it's telling you that on this row it's going to have a true answer. So if you got to that point and it said false and you were looking at that thinking it should be true, then you would know something in your logical statement is wrong. The logical test has to be in the form of a logical equation. Is, some, is it equal? Is it greater than or equal? to? Is it less than or equal to? Is it less than? It has to be in that type of a format. Then the value of true is going to be yes. So I'm going to put quote, Y-E-S quote. And if it's not true, I want it to be a space, which is two quotes with nothing in between. I don't need to do any additional punctuation. The commas and the opening and closing parentheses for the if statement will be handled for me since I used the dialog box. Remember these dialog boxes, they will help you on your exam. You click OK and notice anywhere where the month was four, you see the word yes. But in these cells where the month was seven, not four, it is blank. So that reviews the if statement. You can see you have one decision and then that decision determines whether you're going to see the value of true or the value if false.